you, I'm here today with uh, Solomon uh, Millender here in New York City. We're here up here preaching the gospel this week, and I met him, and uh, really encouraged by his preaching here. He's been preaching here, he's telling me, over 20 years. I just want to let him share what Jesus Christ has done in his life and how he's changed. Uh, hello, my name is Solomon Milliner, and uh, I uh, got saved when I was uh, 26 years old. Back in 1976, a time in New York when New York City was drug capital, and there was so much mess going on, and people were dying like flies because of drugs. And I thank God he, he never, I never got involved in the drug scene, but I was involved in a lifestyle that was really uh, giving me a lot of pain on the inside of my heart fornicating and drinking and hanging out at the nightclubs and doing things I shouldn't be doing to try to find some kind of happiness in this life. But I thank God for Jesus Christ. The Saturday that I got saved, I was, I was uh, I went down to McGinn's bar. I met some boys down there, you know, we started hanging out at the bar and started drinking. And when we was doing that, I felt kind of good, but when I Got to myself, got on that bus to come back uptown. That's when, uh, that's when that weary feeling came on me again. And uh, I just started saying, I, I'm not happy. I don't know why I'm not happy. I just don't understand what's going on in my life. And when I got to my stop, which is at the last stop of the bus, 159th and 8th Avenue, straightened up until I got into my apartment. When I got into my apartment, I started crying again on my couch. And I kept looking up at the ceiling and said, I don't know why I'm so, I don't, I'm so unhappy. Why? I'm so happy. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. And uh, when I cleared my eyes, I saw a track on the table. And I just got to track and then started reading it. And the track was telling me about the salvation of Christ. It's so ironic. You know, when I was a teenager, I went to church, but nobody ever explained it like the track explained why Christ came and died for my sins. And that really registered in my heart. And I knelt down. It took me two seconds to go down next to my couch, and I, I said this sinner's prayer ahead in the back of that track was a chick track. And uh, I... That was a chick track? No, it, it was a regular track, okay. but it had a, had a prayer in the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really, when I finished that prayer, I really felt so good. I felt like something on the inside got taken out of me. I, I felt like I was a newborn baby. I was so, I felt so clean. It's like, and that migraine headache left, and that, that that unhappiness, that everything was like I was new. I couldn't explain it at the moment when it happened. Then I started crying again because I, I, I felt so much peace in my heart. And uh, back in 1987, I was I got on the subway and I was going downtown. I was working at 26th Street and 8th Avenue. And uh, the Lord spoke to me and told me to get up and preach the, uh, the salvation of Christ. I was not a preacher. I've been reading the Bible for many years, about seven years, I guess, seven, eight years. And uh, it was my time, I guess, to, uh, to be a, a, an evangelist for Christ. So I did get up, but when I got ready to talk, it was the rush hours. <laughs> my mouth it seemed like I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get a word out. <laughs> and this big guy looked around at me. It's like he telling me, don't you say nothing. I just sat back down and got my Bible out. But that day, nothing went right on my job. It's like God is really, he just, he, he just rebuked me. He just gave me a, I always say, a spiritual whipping on my job. <laughs> Nothing went right. It was, just, it was a terrible day. When I got home, I just I just felt down. I just started, I just started praying to God. I just asked him to forgive me. So the next day, I got on the same subway going downtown to work, and that same voice spoke to me again. And I thought I got rid of that voice the day before. And this time, I did get up, and I was I started to preach. My voice was shaking somewhat, but I did start to preach. I had some tracks in my shoulder back. I started giving out tracks as I preach. As I go from one subway car to the next, it seems like my voice is getting more strong and more bolder in the world. It's like the anointing was coming upon me. And by the time I got to 26th Street and 8th Avenue, it was like the, the spirit that was in me was doing the work and I was just going along with it. And for two years, I preached on the subway. 1987 to 1989, I preached on the subway. In November of 1989, the Lord spoke to my heart and told me to leave my job. I was assistant supervisor at that time at 35th Street between 10th and 11th Avenue for Jen, uh, for Jen, and, uh, for, uh, Jen and Apparel. 
JNN Apparel. And uh, I went into the office and talked to my boss, which was uh, uh, Gene Berkowitz. I told him I was going to leave to be a minister for Christ. He said, oh, you're going to get a church. He was a Jewish owner. I said, no, I'm going to go to the streets to preach. He said, streets, how are you going to make a living? I said, I'm not going to worry about it. The Lord placed in my heart, Philippians 4, 19, and my God shall supply all my needs. He said, okay, so well, this is what you want to do. So what you could think about is what I thought about it, because I had no peace in my job. So the Lord moved me out of that job for me to work for him full time. And that was November of 1989. Until this present day, I've been out here preaching the salvation of Jesus Christ. Praise God. And many souls, I have a list at home. I started taking that list of people getting saved in 2003. So from 2003 to this date, around 100 people from this ministry have received Christ. And they say from time to time. Hmm. And we preach to uh, uh, millions of people every day. Hmm. Around 200 people a minute go to and fro from that table. We preach on 42nd Street there near 6th Avenue. And so we've been doing this now for many years, my wife and I. And we have another brother called Brother Joe. He comes out too, gives us a hand preaching. So this is the street ministry. People know us by now. People come out, they talk to us. If you want to know who we are, we just basically stay in the same spot for people that, could, that, that need help. They know who we are. We keep moving around, they want to know who we are. So we just stay there, we get it. We have a sound permit to use our sound device. And we preach the unadulterated salvation message of the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't we don't try to cover, we just we just tell it like it is. Man is a sinner who needs the salvation of Christ to get saved. And we speak out against homosexuality, abortion, we speak out against shackling up, we speak out against any act of sin that goes against the commandments of God. I just thank the Lord Jesus Christ that he saved my soul for 34 years now. I got saved, I was 26 years old, now I'm 60 years old. A lot of my friends that went down in the 70s. And I thank God, by the grace of God, I am what I am. I'm still here by God's grace. Praise God. Amen.